Okay, so there's this app that I found for my Galaxy S8. I'm assuming that it's available on uh, iPhone as well to um, apply actual 3D LUTs to your photos and video, but I haven't really got that to work yet. Anyway, um, yes, it's called 3D LUT. Um, so I'll just show you a little bit about how it works and how easy this is. Um, LUTs are uh, a little more in depth as to the way that they apply color. It's a lot more than just a, uh, a color and contrast and, and exposure and so on, but it actually creates um, quite a bit of a different look than you're going to get from just a standard filter. Um, a lot more control as well. So let's, I just took a couple of snapshots here sitting here. Um, so here's my ugly mug here. Let's just use this as an example. So we, we click on this LUT area up here. Um, and let's just try one, uh, say almost sepia. So you can just apply the amount a lot that you actually want. See what it does though? Here, I'll just, uh, let me get a little bit of a vibe going here. Um, what I do afterwards is I click on basic. So this way I can, uh, bring up my blacks a little bit. Um, I can even dial in a little more saturation, not too much. I use pretty small numbers, right? You want the LUT to do the work. You just want to kind of um, compensate a little bit um, as needed. I like to reduce contrast a little bit as well, uh, just because cell phone pics generally are overly contrasty, a little hard to dial in there, but, um, and then what I like to do as well is add a little bit of noise. Right around 10 or 11, uh, just enough to, uh, uh, create a little more of a texture in, in the image. And generally speaking, I would use this for something like, um, Instagram photos. If you want to kind of get a nice look, but you don't, like, you know, you want your, your grid, as they say on Instagram to look a little consistent. I'm one to talk. I have the most inconsistent grid on my Instagram, but, um, if you wanted a little more of that, but you don't want to constantly shoot with your DSLR or bigger camera and then bring it into Lightroom and process it heavily. Uh, this is kind of a quick way to just with cell phone pics to quickly apply something on your phone and post it um, and still have a little more of a professional look. Of course, Photoshop and Lightroom, you can kind of dial in little areas and burn and dodge if you need. But uh, if you frame up a pretty decent shot, uh, compose a nice shot, then, um, you know, really just putting a little bit of a color look to it with that's a little bit better um, using 3D LUTs than you know, the crappy filters that you might get uh, with a lot of other programs. So anyway, um, this is not looking too bad. So let's let's look at uh, before and after. All I got to do is hold down onto the image, uh, anywhere on the image itself, and it will flip to a previous. So that's before and that's after. So you just want those subtle differences. But if you notice in the background here, this is the before, you see the blue um, just above the monitor on the left of the screen. There's kind of a, a blue sled that I have there. Um, uh, and then when I release it, you'll see it, it's desaturating the blues out of it. That's what this particular LUT is doing. So um, that's that kind of look. Uh, and what you would do is just hit the checkbox here and uh, save to your gallery, or you can post it right away to Instagram from there. Um, hold on. Okay, so what I actually want to do is try to apply a different LUT. So remember, we did some changes here in the basics. So uh, the adjustments that I needed to do were as per that LUT, but a lot of the LUTs will kind of be comparable as far as the amount of contrast they add, the, the amount it drops down your blacks and so on. So let's, there's just endless um, options here. Uh, Aspen, before, after. I mean, that, that looks to me more like a filter at that point. Something like this, though. Um, is pretty decent. Gives me a little more of a look. 
I'm going to bring my contrast back on this one though. Uh, there, my white balance, maybe I'll just warm it up a little bit. You can do this thing called tone mapping as well. And what that does is it brings up the darker areas. It adds more light into those and takes the lighter areas and brings them down. So it makes them a little bit darker. So see with extremeness, extreme kind of thing here, you can really screw up the image. But if it's needed just to kind of balance out the image, it makes the dynamic range look a little bit better. Uh, so let's do a before and after on that one. It's before. And that's after. Yeah, and this is an indoor shot. It's not really composed or set up properly, but if we were shooting big landscape shots outside, um, as you know with cell phone uh, photos anyway, you get a lot better with a lot more light outdoor pictures. So, um, but even still, uh, you're getting a little more of a consistent look here. Uh, and if you choose, you know, your favorite one or two lots that you would use, and then you know what your particular adjustments are for your own style, then you can have a consistent Instagram, which is kind of cool. Um, rather than going to the intense work of transferring photos to a computer and and uh, photoshopping them or or processing them through Lightroom. Anyway, uh, let me just save this one. Okay, so that is 3D LUT. And you might want to go download that. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just thought it was a pretty cool app and I thought I would share it with you guys. Thanks for watching.